Hey everybody, it's Eric here at DV Music. Got your weekly lesson for you this week. Uh, sorry, I missed last week. Um, I don't play very well with no thumbnail, and I have no thumbnail. Uh, I also jammed up the tendons and couldn't do what I wanted to do or really anything else. So, uh, showed you a little bit of the, uh, the guys from Bury Me at Sea. Orion's one of my students for a really long time now. Uh, I've got to work with a lot of those guys over the last few years doing different rock camps and jamming with them, and they're all awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy their latest release. Uh, I believe they've got their big EP release party this weekend. Um, anyway, back to the guitar. I wanted to uh, maybe do a little simple finger-picking thing this week. Uh, I really haven't talked a whole lot about it at all and finger picking and hybrid picking and all these different forms of picking are all things that I enjoy a lot. Um, both from spending some time doing classical and playing a lot of country and all that other great stuff. So I want to start with some simple things. Um, we'll get out of the drop D tuning for you. Uh, let's go over a couple quick details. And then I'll show you a couple simple patterns to get started with that you can work on to start developing your finger picking technique. So first things first, yep, five, four fingers and a thumb over here, cover my face. Um, they are listed as such, P for thumb, I for index, middle for, or M for middle, A for your ring finger, and C 
for your pinky finger. Most of the easy stuff we do up the top, you're not going to do a whole lot of pinky, so you don't have to worry about it too much, but you should know what it is. I do it a lot when I'm hybrid picking, especially when I'm doing some like jazz comping or some hybrid finger style stuff. I definitely use my pinker, pinky a lot. But for today, we're going to focus on P-I-M-A. And what we're going to do is start with a simple finger picking pattern. What you're going to do is you're going to place your thumb on the low E string, the sixth string. Your index finger is going to go down on the third string, the G. Your middle finger is going to go down on the B. And then your A finger, your ring finger, is going to go down on your high E string. And to start, all I want you to do is go thumb, index, middle, ring. Let's do that again. Thumb, middle, index, ring. And then I want you to come backwards. You're going to go ring, middle, index, thumb. Do that again. Ring, middle, index, thumb. And now we'll put those two together. So we go thumb, index, middle, ring, ring, middle, index, thumb. So if you listen, we actually have an E minor chord because these are the notes that actually make up the E minor triad. So even without doing anything on the left hand, we're already starting to work together towards Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Or maybe Spanish Romanza. Okay, so that's, let's go over it again. It's thumb, index, middle, ring, ring, middle, index, thumb. This is also House of the Rising Sun, sort of like a campfire folky way of doing it. The second pattern we're going to look at is one that involves using two fingers at the same time. So same idea, we're still going to set up in the same strings we had, thumb on the six, index on three, middle on two, ring on one. But this time you're going to go thumb, index, and then ring and middle together. So thumb, index, middle and ring together. the index on the way back. So thumb, index, middle and ring, index. That two finger at the same time kind of gets you set up for that kind of um, more than words. actually sit down and learn how to play it. Uh, with these picking patterns, it's important to go slow. Okay, You notice I'm not saying a whole lot about technique yet, and I want to save some of that for our next video. Today I just want to get you moving on, just getting the right hand to get those fingers to move independently. So, finger pattern number one, I'm going to use the actual names for the fingers. So remember, P, I, M, A, okay? Pattern number one is P, I, M, A, M, I, P, I, M, A, M, I, P, I, M, A, M, I.
notice that they have two different sort of almost grooves. There's this one. It's got sort of a 6-8 time groove, and there's this one. Which we can use for a 4-4 groove. So, that's all we're covering today. A couple quick finger picking patterns. Let's just get the right hand moving this week. Next week, we can talk about how to look at our right hand for positioning. This versus this versus this versus this versus that. All of these different things that you see people use. Um, how the fingers are actually pulling. They're not pulling like this. They're pulling like this. Kind of like you're waving to somebody. Hello, people. And we'll talk about that positioning this way and that way as well. You'll notice when I do it that everything kind of stays in one line. Some of my students will remember me uh, doing crazy things like taping a ruler down their forearm so that we can see this nice, straight, unbothered, unflexed, nice, even relaxed kind of hand position. Um, we'll talk about that as well, but for now, your two patterns, which are P-I-M-A-M-I, -M -M -I, and then P-I-M-A together, I. Okay? Work on those. Throw a chord down if you like, just to get some nice little sound over them. You may start to find that you start playing a bunch of songs that you know, like uh, Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. start doing, I don't know why, but maybe start doing uh, Stairway to Heaven by accident. Dust in the Wind. No, we didn't do that pattern yet. So, go over them. You just have two. Hopefully you'll find these kind of handy. I will put in the post what the thumb and the fingers are labeled so you can refer back to it. And hopefully you get some good practice in on these so we can talk about the technique next week. Good luck.